Good morning, fam. Welcome back to Erica ZDC. And today we have a beautiful lineup here of Sodbuster knives. These are some of my favorite knives in my collection. Uh, obviously, they have just multiplied and multiplied. And now we have a lot of Sodbusters. We have a couple from GEC. The rest are all from Case, but they're all the Sodbuster type design here. And I figured because it's one of my favorite models, I would show you guys my current state of the collection. There are some missing that Nikki has, but these are the ones that are in my little hands right now. So let's check them out, right? These are all uh, really cool. We'll start with the one that we're carrying today. So in this beautiful wood grain Michael Richter slip, with a pointer on the back, we have the Reverse Slater. This is one that Josh and I just came up with. If you guys are not aware, Josh Francis is the owner of Knife Guy Mods. He does all of the recovers for my sod busters. He can do other knives as well. He can do key ring deletes. He can do all types of stuff, but he's the owner of Knife Guy Mods. I will link him down in the description below so you can get in contact with him if any of this interests you but this is called the Reverse Slater. So our flagship model, you could say, is called the Slater. And the Slater consists of the micarta on the outside for the covers, orange G10 liners on the inside. And for fun, we decided to do a Reverse Slater and switch the materials around. So we have the orange covers and the micarta liners. And this is called the Reverse Slater. This is a knife that I am testing right now. I will be testing it for all of December. I'm really enjoying this so far. I think that the orange G10 looks fantastic. It's nice and thin. Everything goes together really well. This is, this was instantly a favorite the moment I opened it. So this is called the Reverse Slater. Um, I really enjoy this one. This one is in CV steel, which makes it even better. I love CV steel. So that's the one that's in the pocket today, the Reverse Slater. Very, very cool. And as always, check out Michael Richter of Richter Knives. He does all of the leather work for the channel. Um, I believe his books are closed currently for the holidays, but come the new year, he will be taking more orders and he makes the world's best leather slips. So I will put him in the description as well. <clears throat> but Reverse Slater is the one in the pocket today. Put her back in there. You probably see a little nuggy here as well. Um, let's check out the original Slater. This is the first model that we ever really came up with. Pretty simple. We just have some natural vintage cross-cut micarta for the covers with orange G10 liners. Very cool. I think that the contrast between these looks great. Um, he does integrate a half stop into all of the models. That's not something that Case sends their knives out with, but it's something that we put into the knives just for a little extra perk. Um, really beautiful. I love this one. This is in True Sharp Stainless Steel but that is the Slater. We have made, I think, 11 of these, maybe 12. Um, really good one. Can't go wrong with that. Next, we have what is called the Blue Jane. And I will, I will let you guys know when we're done looking at the knives from Knife Guy Mods. Wednesday will be the last one. Then we're going to move into, like, normal case knives and the two GECs here. <coughs> but... This is called the Blue Jane. So Blue Jane has blue denim micarta covers, white liners, and then also the brass liners from Case. You don't have to use the brass liners if you don't want. You don't have to use the white liners if you don't want. You can pick and choose, you can do both, you can do one or the other, doesn't matter. I wanted to make this look like a pair of blue jeans. So I did the, the blue denim with the white liner as like the stitching and then the brass as the like zipper fly of a pair of blue jeans. And I think it just looks really neat. This is, this one out of all of them feels the most like sturdy and rugged. I think because it is running on those brass liners. 
Really, really nice. This one is in carbon steel. So she's got the teeners. Check that out. But Blue Jane is really cool. I love blue denim micarta. I think it looks and feels phenomenal. Really, really nice. Nice and snappy too, running on that brass. Blue Jane, there she is. <clears throat> and then we have Wednesday. So unfortunately, the materials that we used for Wednesday are no longer in production as they were a limited run. However, you can get something very similar to this. This is G Carta. So it's G10 and Micarta, kind of like a hybrid. Wednesday is not only running on two liners in Halloween colors, black and orange, but she also does have washers integrated into her. So they're not nested in the liner. They're just sandwiched in there. But Wednesday does have washers. She's very snappy. And she is also in carbon steel. Like I said, you can get something very similar to this if you want. Um, there are so many handle material options, but I love how Wednesday came out. She was instantly one of my favorites, and I carried her for the entire month of November. I'll be putting up a full review of her, but I just think that this whole package looks so neat. Definitely a spooky theme. So she's the last one that I'm showing from the modifications of Knife Guy Mods. Like I said, I will put him down in the description below with his business email, his Instagram, all that good stuff so you can find him. But this is called Wednesday, after Wednesday Adams from the, the TV show. <clears throat> now we have two sod buster knives, but the ones made from Great Eastern Cutlery. So this is called the Bullnose. There's also a larger full-size model called the Bull Buster, I believe. If we bring in a Case Sodbuster Jr. for comparison of size, you will notice that the Bull Nose has a significant amount of not only length on the Sodbuster Jr., but width of the handle covers. This is definitely... If you were comparing this to a Case Sodbuster Jr., this is more of the workhorse, I would say. Um, the Bullnose is a, a one-and-done knife. You can carry this as your main blade. It's, the action is just wild on these. Like, the half-stop on that is really incredible. Um, I mean, that if you close that on your finger, you would be in the hospital. Very, very snappy. This is definitely more of a workhorse compared to the Case Sodbuster Juniors. This is not going to close on you. I love the bull nose. I have two of them. This one is in natural micarta, not finished, so it's, it's very grippy. It feels really, really nice. These are all in carbon steel as well. 1095, I believe. Um, Gotta love a bull nose. If you can get your hands on one, I highly, highly suggest it. They're they're really great knives. So I do also have a green micarta one. This is it has some type of gloss on it, so it's very slick and smooth. I also really like how on the bull nose they integrate the lanyard hole. I really like that. Um, can you do that on a Case Sodbuster Jr. if you mod it? Yes. But the only person I know of that's doing that is Box Creek Knife Company. Josh isn't doing that yet. Sorry, we need some coffee. I'm sure we'll get there, but <clears throat> that requires a little extra TLC to kind of extend the handle and integrate the lanyard hole. So I'm sure Josh will get there at some point, but Box Creek Knife Company is modifying Sodbuster Juniors with a lanyard hole if that's something that you absolutely need. But yeah, here's another bull nose from GEC. Um, really beautiful. Again, crazy snappy. <coughs> Just a, a, a workhorse of a knife. Much more filling in the hand. I will say, um, the bull nose is so thick that I... I actually do prefer the the thin carry and profile of these 
Um, this is borderline too thick for me. Like I use them and I love them, but they definitely are pretty chunky. So um, just one thing to be mindful of if you're looking into to a bull nose, they're, they're very, they're very wide. But there's one. Um, this one has a bead from Archie over at Nice Guy Machine Company, the guy that makes all the pry bars. This is the Be No One Bead in Black Delrin. Just a little bit of a modern twist on this particular traditional knife. Okay, let's get into these little guys here. So we have two Delrin Sodbuster Juniors coming up. I believe this is called the American Workman. So this is, uh, it's just red covers, but I, I don't know why they called it the American Workman series. Red Delrin covers on this one. Carbon steel. She got the teeners. Just a forewarning, the Delrin covered ones, their fit and finish is generally absolute garbage. This is no exception. The gaps on this, which I don't know if I can pick up in this lighting, are pretty horrific. The fit and finish is just not really acceptable in my opinion at all on this one. I still love it, like I still use it. They're cheap, they're only like 35 bucks. But if you're, if you're very picky about that kind of stuff, probably don't go with one of the Delrin ones because you're not going to be impressed with the fit and finish on these. This one is much better. This one here is in <clears throat> True Sharp Stainless. This one has much better fit and finish, but this is really kind of like a rare, a rarity from, from Case. This one is actually really nice, nice and centered. Hold on, let me bring this other one in. This one is... <laughs> I don't even know if you could talk about centering with this one. It's so bad. Like, that would be nice, but it literally touches, it touches the brass liner. This one does. Um, so we do have a little rare bird here with this one that I got in True Sharp Stainless and Orange Delrin. This one is really nice. Love the, love the orange color. If you couldn't tell, I'm a fan of orange, but that's a really good one there. <clears throat> they're just nice little beater knives because they're cheap. Um, these last ones here are all bone covered. All of them are the thinner bone covers with the exception of this Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. This is in the, oh, what is it called? Like Autumn Harvest Sunrise <coughs> Bone, something like that. This one is actually really beautiful. I had a, another one of these and it was not as nice as this, but this one was a winner. These are actually run in 1095 high carbon. So if you didn't catch this yet, you can get a number of different carbon steels from Case. They, they have chrome vanadium, which they are phasing out of. They have carbon steel. And then they have the 1095 high carbon steel. They are all different. Um, Doom Crew Outdoors actually ran a test on the different blades. And yes, there are literal differences between them. Um, if we are talking about the composition of the steel. A coffee break! Um, there are differences. I can make a video talking about my experiences with the different steels in terms of usage and sharpening because there are significant differences. I will I will make an in-depth video about that, but um yeah, they are all different. So this one's 1095. Very, very nice. Beautiful bone covers. This one is the thickest one out of all of them. Um most of them are run at this width. However, they do make some with some pretty thick bone covers there. So there's my 1095 high carbon one from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Next we have one in True Sharp Stainless, and this is, this was a release this year, I believe. This is Orange Persimmon Bone, and it is jigged. This one's really beautiful. Um, very nice fit and finish on the thinner ones. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. The thinner bone-covered Sodbuster Juniors tend to have much better fit and finish than any of their other offerings. <coughs> if we're talking about the Sodbuster design. They just seem to be put together better. 
they're generally really good. So if you if you're looking to buy one of these and you want it in bone covers and you and you're hoping for good fit and finish, go with one of these thin ones, okay? This one is really beautiful. I love this orange. It's a little more subtle and and dull compared to like this one here. Very nice. This one is also in True Sharp Stainless. This one is one that I've used quite a bit. It actually needs to be cleaned up and sharpened. This one, I believe they call Crandall Jig Bone. <clears throat> so the jigging is a little different. The pattern is a little different. It's, um, it's pretty tight. I actually really like this. This looks very cool to me. Nice and bright. A bright pop of color in your pocket. I love how thin these carry as well. Very, very cool. So there's another one. I love my orange traditional knives. They remind me of the old days. And then lastly, we have a couple here. Um, this, I actually have two of these. These are mahogany peach, what is it called? Okay, it's mahogany color. Peach seed jig bone is the pattern of the jigging. And these are both in carbon steel. They have the double X shield, which is really nice. These were also a release this year from, I believe, Knife Center. Very cool. Very, very nice. Love that deep, rich mahogany. <clears throat> Absolutely stunning. Love the teeners on these. This one, Case actually sent me like a month ago. I haven't gotten around to using it too much yet, so this one needs some teeners. But just look at how... Look at the color on that mahogany peach seed jig bone. Like, that is a very deep, rich, beautiful color. I freaking love these things. Let me, let me see if I have my slip that it goes with. Like, come on. You get yourself a Richter Knives slip with one of these. You're not going to want to take this out of your pocket. Look at that. That's sharp. <coughs> Even like, check this out, Horween leather. Oh, you're not going to want to take that out of your pocket if you have a setup like that, guys. I'm serious. Very, very nice offerings from Case. I really like both of these. Uh, this one is a little, a little brighter. This one is a really deep mahogany, but those are just some beautiful, beautiful knives there. And then last but not least, this is my... This is my pride and joy here. This is a chestnut jig bone case sodbuster junior in chrome vanadium steel. I got the last one from I believe it was knives ship free. And I originally saw this from Richter Knives and there was one other person I can't remember who it was but Michael Richter had one of these. I believe he dropped his and actually chipped the jig bone and then he got it recovered by Box Creek Knife Company. But when I saw his before he dropped it, I was like, I got to have that. Like that color is something that I need in my life. I love the red tones and then the frame of this kind of orangey, brighter flare. Like that to me is absolutely stunning. In conjunction with the patina, come on. That, that is nice. That is something that you, you're you going to smile every time you take this out of your pocket to use. So like I said, this is in CV Steel. They're not really doing that anymore. I'll be honest, out of all of their carbon steel offerings, I actually like the CV the most. Surprisingly, from my experience, it holds an edge the longest compared to the carbon steel and the 1095. It really does. Um, it's very impressive. So... This is just an absolute favorite of mine. Very glad that I picked one up before they stopped making these. I know Caliper has one. Um, Michael Richter did have one, but yeah, just an absolute beaut. That's that's my last one there. But those are all of the Sodbuster Juniors that I have in my box right now. Like I said, we've we've got Millie. We've got the golden fused carbon fiber. We've got another Slater. We've got all types of Saudis, but those are the ones in my box right now. Nikki has the rest of them. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I need to run the review on this, this beautiful Magna Cut Steadfast, so I'll get that up soon. I'll get the review on Wednesday up soon, but um, 
there are some knives for you guys to look at. I hope that you guys have a great day. I love you so much. Go use your shit. Learn how to sharpen your knives. And we'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Take care. Um, sorry, Kane. Kane also says, see you guys later. <laughs> Bye, fam.